Welcome back to the next episode on how to. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to set. As you can tell, I have applied my foundation and my concealer on. If you guys want to know how to do both of those, I do have a how to video on those. And please make sure to go check them out in the eye icon just above or in the description down below. Okay. Let's get setting. When it comes to setting your foundation, you have two sorts of powders that you can use to set. One is a loose powder and one is a pressed powder. So in today's demonstration, the loose powder I'm gonna to use today is the Laura Mercier Loose Powder in Translucent. And the pressed powder is by IT Cosmetics and it is in the shade Fair. I'm gonna be taking the loose powder on my right hand side and I'm gonna be doing the pressed powder on my left hand side. The applicators that you can use for the loose powder is a dry or semi-dry sponge, which we're going to be using for baking. And I would also recommend using a fluffy brush. Now, when it comes to pressed powders, the brushes I would recommend is either a fluffy brush or a dense brush like this one. Let's take the loose powder. So I shake out some of the product in the lid which just makes it easier to apply it on the face. What you want to do is take your fluffy brush and when you are picking up the product, you just want to kind of pat the product on there. You don't want to go too vigorously because it'll just go up in the air and that'll just be a waste of product. Then I kind of just tap off any excess. When I am about to apply it onto the skin, the first thing that I do is I like to pat it onto the skin first then I will go in circular motions and blend it out all over my face. Now, if you want to bake, what baking is, is essentially you grab a lot of product on your beauty blender, you apply it to the areas where you have creasing and you actually keep the setting powder on for a longer period of time. So what you want to do is put a lot more product in the lid than what I do is I grab my beauty blender and I really saturate as much powder as I probably can on the tip of the beauty blender. Then I'm just going to hold this for fallouts. I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes and just around my lip because that's where I crease the most. Some people tend to finish the rest of their makeup and then they grab a fluffy brush and just dust the baking away. But let's move on to the left side and then we'll come back to the right. When using a pressed powder, what I like to do is with the dense brush, I will use circular motions to pick up some of the product. And when I go in to my face, I'm actually using padding motions. Now I am being a little bit more firm, but I'm not being too firm where I'm moving my foundation underneath. The reason why I want to be a little bit more firm is because I really want to press this powder into that liquid foundation underneath. When I am using my fluffy brush, I'm going to be picking up the product again in circular motions. Then I'm actually going to be a lot more gentle with a fluffy brush and all I'm going to do is just glide over my face using circular and kind of sweeping motions. It's really hard to show on camera as to how gentle I'm being, but I promise you, it is gentle. Okay, that's how you apply the press powder. Let's take the fluffy brush and get rid of this baking. And those are the results, both loose and pressed. Let's get into the recap. When you are using a loose powder and you're using a fluffy brush, you're making sure that you are always using stippling and circular motions. Always apply the powder on the area of concern first as the first point of contact will apply the most product onto your face and then blend outwards. When it comes to baking with a loose powder, I would saturate the product with the sponge and I would apply it to the areas that are creasing the most on your face and I would do the rest of my makeup and then I would come back to it and just use a fluffy brush to just flick off the extra product. When it comes to pressed powders, if you are using a dense brush, what I would recommend is using stippling motions only because what you want to do is just stamp it into the foundation you can be a little bit more firm with a dense foundation brush, but don't be too firm where you're moving the foundation underneath. If you are using a fluffy brush, be gentle, just glide over the face and use circular motions for that. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. 
please make sure that you are subscribed and you have turned your notification bell on so that you are notified as to next time I upload another how-to video. If you want to see my other how-tos, there is a link in the description box below with all my videos there. So please make sure to go check it out. And let me know in the comments down below, do you prefer a loose powder or do you prefer a pressed powder? Let me know what you think. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.